Hello everyone, welcome to the word of the day and as you see on your screen the word that we have for today is the word pompous and here is the meaning of the word and we have two sentences explaining the usage of the word. Also it has been mentioned here that the word is uh, used as an adjective. Uh, it is used often as, uh, as, as, as a disapproving word and whenever we, use, we, we come across the word pompous it basically means that this word is expressing some sort of disapproval and the word uh, the word's origin goes back to almost 1300 it comes from the old french pomp which means magnificence and in church latin it was used in deprecatory sense in the sense that it was used always in the, in the sense of disapproving something and it meant worldly display or vain show so when you basically ex show so much of exaggerated self-importance, then you can be categorized as pompous. So when a person is pompous or when someone is pompous, that means the person is, is having some kind of ex exaggerated self-importance or he feels he's all too important. And that is what the meaning says. It says here too serious and full of importance. And the, the word says here, he is a pompous old prig who is totally incapable of taking a joke. That means so much full of seriousness and full of self-importance that he can't take a joke. Right? And the second sentence says, he can sometimes sound a little pompous when he talks about acting. So a, pom a little pompous basically means a boastful. So uh, if, you, if, you, if you want to equate the word pompous, you can always use the word boastful. Because boastful and pompous are almost synonyms in the sense that they can be replaced and they're almost interchangeable. So the word pompous is used in the disapproving sense. It's, it's, it, uh, its origin is the word pom, which is an old French word dating back to almost uh, 1300. And it was used in the church uh, in Latin and it basically meant worldly display or vain show. So vain show basically means a show which was full of pride. So the word vain also means pride right or some kind of you know uh, self-importance so when you say that this uh, she was a vain woman so the when you say she was a vain woman you mean to say that the person was full of self-importance or she was a kind of woman who always had exaggerated self-importance so that is known as vain woman woman or vain show or something which is wasteful you know not of much significance worldly display right that is how the word that is how the word pomp and pleasure has come right so pomp and pleasure in the sense that uh, a, a world full of show and extravaganza and pleasure so sometimes you have pompous display so many a time when the political parties uh, they hold rallies and the rallies are extravagant then the some then someone who is disapproving that that extravagant rally might say it was a pompous display of power and wealth right and that is how we have used the word he's a pompous old prig who is totally incapable here the word pompous means basically the person is so much full of self-importance that he can't take a joke here it means here when you say he can sometimes sound a little pompous means that he can be a little boastful or showy when it comes to talking about films right so this is the how we use the word pompous let's go and take some of the synonyms of the word pompous as you see here we, we have so many synonyms here i mean the word is full of synonyms and the first one is boastful as i told you earlier that pompous and boastful are almost interchangeable and boastful and bombastic so when you are bombastic means you are using you know uh, you are expressing something uh, in a big way and uh, you are trying to blow things out of proportion that is bombastic grandiose grandiose basically means extravagant in a in a big way imperious so the word imperious uh, sounds very similar to the word imperial if you remember imperial word and the word imperial is very close to the word emperor or to the word imperialism so what is imperialism imperialism basically uh, from the historical pers from from the from history perspective it means that uh, uh, the uh, the principle of uh, ruling others and dominating others so that is how the word imperialism comes and from the word imperialism we have the word imperial that means concerned with power and authority and that's why when you use when you have the word imperious it comes from the word imperial or imperialism that means basically showing great authority great importance great power and that is how you have the word overbearing so overbearing basically means you know 
very much dominating self-centered self-important selfish might be little of a synonym but not an exact synonym pretentious again showing too much of self-importance presumptuous showing too much of self-importance and as you move ahead you will see the lessers uh, the the less closer synonyms of the word so conceited or flaunting or flowery or grandiloquent you have important inflated right magisterial magniloquent you have narcissistic that means someone who is having too much pride in one's own abilities and beauty and qualities then you have ostentatious so the word ostentation basically means decoration so when you have the word ostentation it basically means too much of decoration too much of display so people say that the indian weddings uh, in in india people had uh, people have this ostentatious wedding uh, so ostentatious ostentatious basically means here extravagant display of something so ostentatious wedding overblown or portentous or vain glorious and then we have the word vain which we had discussed earlier so these are some of the very very close synonyms and as we move ahead uh, they are they are less direct synonyms but more or less they are synonyms of the word pompous let's go and take some of the antonyms of the word pompous as you see here, not many antonyms because then it becomes very easy for us. So if you're pompous or bombastic or boastful or magniloquent, not just humble or kind or modest, unselfish, dull, plain, simple. So you have a simple wedding, right? So sometimes even the rich people have very simple wedding and sometimes even the, even, even, even the poorest of the poor, they have ostentatious wedding. So this is how you can contrast the two words, right? So simple wedding and then ostentatious wedding. Right? And you have unassuming. Unassuming basically means of, of, of lesser significance. Correct? This is known as unassuming. So, so un, when you say the unassuming young man, so this would refer to uh, someone who was uh, who was very humble and not well known. So uh, we use this term that the unassuming, uh, uh, the, the the unassuming baller uh, uh, took. Uh, 10 wickets the unassuming basically means humble and the one uh, whom everyone thought to be very ordinary so that is how we use the word unassuming simple plain tell so we have we have we have learned so many words uh, and most of the most of the adjectives they have plenty of antonyms and antonyms and synonyms and uh, whenever you see the word ous when you, whenever you, when you, whenever you see ous at the at the end of the word it basically means that this word is an adjective so the word pomp is a noun and when you add OUS to it, it becomes an adjective. So you have some pompous person, uh, pompous display or something which is pompous, right? Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little session on, on the word pompous and if you have liked the video, please do subscribe and share the video and press the bell icon to get the updates regularly.